Let's look at this problem here with the standard free energy change. Here a problem is given to us. A is converted to B, releasing, or we have a change of negative 15,000 kilojoules per mole of uh, the reactant to product. So the question asks, what is the equilibrium constant for the reaction at 25 degrees Celsius? The equation that we need is one that needs to be memorized, a very important one for the MCAT. Here the Gibbs free energy is equal to the negative R times T, R is the gas constant, times the natural logarithm of the uh, equilibrium constant, KEQ. So here the gas constant is given in joules, make a note of that, and the problem gave you the Gibbs free energy in kilojoules. So we're going to have to solve for KEQ, but before that, let's, uh, let's do our brief calculations where we have uh, 15,000 kilojoules. And let's see here, 15,000 kilojoules, Gibbs free energy, is equal to negative 15,000 joules. Per mole. Excuse me, I was saying kilojoules. 15 kilojoules is 15,000 joules per mole. And so we also need to calculate for our temperature. Our temperature is given as uh, 25 plus 273 because our temperature, keep in mind, is in Kelvin. So we have to add 273 to that. And that gives us 298 Kelvin. We now have the given um, the given constants, the given variables in our equation, but we have to calculate for our EQ, our KEQ. So let's do that. Let me write out the problem again here. Nothing like doing things on a white sheet of paper here. So we have the Gibbs free energy is equal to the negative RT times the natural log, that's an L, of the KEQ. <clears throat> to solve for this, we're going to have to divide both sides by negative RT. That gives you on this side of the equation, gives free energy divided by the negative RT equals to the natural logarithm of the KEQ. So how do we get rid of this natural log logarithm? Remember the number or factor here. The natural exponent e will be used to eliminate the natural logarithm right here. <clears throat> so we raise everything on this side of the equation to the uh, natural exponent. So E that is raised to that, and then E, we raise this. That's going to eliminate that. That is because the ln of E is equal to 1. So this then drops down. And we have the KEQ is equal to an exponent of the Gibbs free energy right here, divided by negative RT. OK, so <clears throat> now we can uh, just plug and chug, per se. We had the negative 15,000, as we derived before divided by, and I'm opening this up a little bit, don't forget about the exponent when you do these problems on your MCAT, we have 8 point, and this is given in your problem, most every problem it will be given. Times 298. Okay, so the gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin and then we're raising all of this to the E. 
or we're using all of that as the exponent there for e. If we then calculate that using our trusty old calculators, uh, you can do that uh, kind of equation. What we have then is e to the power of 6.05, which then equals 2, 4, 26. There's the answer to the equation. But what does that mean? So let's look at this. Here, KEQ is equal to the concentration of the product over the reactant. So what that means, 426 over 1. Okay, so we had a lot of product form. And that means with a Gibbs free energy of a very large negative, oops, sorry about that, very large negative 15 here, we can relate that to this over here where we have a very large KEQ. So it's very favorable, spontaneous reactions, in other words, um, when we have a negative number in the Gibbs free energy.